Breaking news. As fresh poll shows tightening race in critical state, Harris says Trump disrespected hallowed ground at Arlington. Angry confrontation between Trump's team and cemetery employees broke out this week at Arlington National Cemetery, and Kamala Harris claims that Trump disrespected sacred ground by engaging in an inappropriate video shoot there. The former president expressed his strong disapproval of the accusation in an interview with Moms for Liberty, an ultra-conservative organization that advocates for parental rights. While touring the cemetery for a wreath-laying ceremony with military families, he took a selfie with his thumb raised above graves of servicemen, despite claiming it was too short just 24 hours earlier. Trump has now stated that he will vote to maintain Florida's six-week abortion restriction when the matter comes up for voting in November. In a swift response, Harris's team stated that Trump's support for the Florida abortion ban demonstrated his stance on the topic and threatened to uphold an abortion restriction so draconian it applies before many women even know they are pregnant if elected. Despite the addition of Governor Tim Walz to the ticket, a new survey suggests that the race in Minnesota is becoming increasingly competitive, with Harris's lead having during August. Still, Harris is expanding her lead, according to a different poll, the Trump campaign is considering its next move, which may involve asking the judge to dismiss the federal election subversion case. Following a Supreme Court ruling that limited the scope of the historic prosecution, attorneys for former President Donald Trump plan to ask a judge to drop the federal election subversion case against him, as stated in a court document. Late Friday, the defense and prosecutors filed a joint document outlining competing plans for the next steps in the criminal case accusing Trump of attempting to reverse the 2020 presidential election's results. The document hinted at a number of problems that would prolong the case until well into next year using previously uncovered recordings, Vance accuses working women of being on way to misery. Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance claimed in a September 2021 podcast interview that working women select a path to sorrow when they put their jobs ahead of starting a family. The running partner of Donald Trump has also called for the suppression of American masculinity, targeted immigrants, and Democratic Representative Ilhan Omar. According to The Guardian, the former senator from Ohio once claimed, pursuing racial or gender fairness is like the value system that gives their life meaning. With reference to women, including his fellow Yale Law School classmates. However, they all come to the realization that adhering to that set of values results in suffering, despite the fact that publishing the now viral Miss Teen USA video caused her emotional distress, Vance refuses to apologize. Republican candidate for Vice President J.D. Vance still hasn't spoken sorry for using a video of a Miss Teen USA contender fumbling with an answer to make fun of Vice President Kamala Harris. Vance later learned that the video had caused the contestant emotional distress, but he still hasn't apologized. Vance shared a video of 2007 Miss Teen USA candidate Caitlin Upton's incoherent response to a question on Thursday night. The video went viral and is now a common meme that people use to make fun of someone's intelligence. But CNN's John Berman told Vance on Friday morning that Upton went into a despair and considered suicide because of the video he uploaded.